All right. Welcome to another episode of our Student Spotlight series. Today, our guest student speaker is Derek Jackson. Uh, Derek, when and where did you enter? Um, okay, so this past summer, I interned at ServiceNow, uh, which is a tech company based in Santa Clara, California, uh, really near the Bay Area. And uh, I was on their audit team. So I was working on their entity level controls and then their IT controls this summer. Ooh, that sounds like yeah. a lot, like a really diverse kind of role that you were participating in. Definitely. So uh, like, it was interesting because when I got the internship, um, I haven't taken the audit class yet in, in school, uh, but I, I got on in their finance program. So um, basically it was like, we know you, you may not know everything, but we're gonna try to teach you as much as we can. And uh, it was cool because the way I was positioned, it was supposed to give me exposure to um, a lot of areas of the audit. Um, process and in, in that space and time, which was it was testing time uh, over the course of the summer. Um, so yeah, I got to interact with you know people in uh, India because they mostly focused on IT audit. So a lot of our uh, IT team is in uh, Hyderabad, India. So that was my primary point of contact for IT. And then I was based in Houston. So on the business side, it was in California. Very cool. Man, sounds like they're all over the world then. <laughs> Definitely. They're a big company. So how do you feel that the School of Bus Business and Technology prepared you for this internship? Um, you know, I feel, I always feel like a, a business school is, it, it kind of gets a bad image, I think, among people because they think if you, you don't need to go to business school to start a business or to be good at business. And Truthfully, the thing that you get from business school are all the intangibles that takes you a long time to gain in the outside world. So being able to communicate professionally, being able to network among the company, uh, and then also taking the, the technical information that you learn in class and actually applying it. Uh, that That is important because, like I said, although I had never taken an audit class, I have definitely taken accounting classes. I've de definitely taken you know the general business courses so I was able to take what I had learned in class and try to apply it or make those connections while I was in my internship, which is it, it's helped me a lot coming back into the school year because it, it just feels like I'm ahead in certain things. Um, now going into my classes, instead of like trying to apply what I learned in class to a job, I apply what I learned at my job to a class and it's changed kind of my my uh, thoughts about how I go about, how I interact with uh, the people in the business school, and the, it it all makes for a more well-rounded education. Awesome. I love how your hands-on experience, you were able to take that back into the classroom um, and apply it to any sort of uh, anything, really, that you're learning now. That's awesome. Definitely. So uh, why do you think it's important for students to attend an internship while they're in school? Oh man, um, if I, I'm not sure how long this is supposed to go, but I uh, I have a story. Um, I kind of figure out figured out what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see, it was the semester after we went home for COVID, um, and it was more towards the end of that summer. And I went on LinkedIn. I was trying to connect with people that were in the space in the industry and see what I needed to do to, of course, get myself in that similar position. And um, what I heard was the most common thing was, where are you interning this summer? And it hurt so much internally. It was a good wake up call, but it hurt because over the past summer I had an intern um, and they were saying your peers, the people that you're competing against, have done an internship like even if they're sophomores even if they're freshmen they've done it and after talking to my peers and my co-workers at service now it was like that it may not have been at a huge company but they had did something that they could quantify and put on their resume to add to their educational experience so in that month in in my mindset changed completely it was all about okay where can i get my foot in the door doing something similar to what i want to do um and so to bring it back to your question, getting an internship could quite possibly be the difference between you and one of your peers that you're competing against. 
Um, truthfully, we all go to business school, most of us. And then the thing that separates you post-grad or even before you graduate entering the job market, because I think once you're a junior and senior, it's kind of that time to start thinking about like, yeah, I'm, I'm in the job market. I'm competing for my opportunity uh, post-graduation. It's it, it'll make or break your resume, right? If if I don't have an internship and a competitor who is equally as qualified as me does, you got to take the person with experience. Absolutely. And so you got to have the you got to have the experience to go along with the education. I think even if it's before you have the the actual class on your G, uh, on your transcript, you you just got to go out there and try to put yourself in a position to get experience. Absolutely, and it really does. Um seeing that difference on those resumes, like you said, really can give you the leg up. Um, So what would you say to corporations about providing internships to students in the SBT? Um, You know, I feel like there's a big push right now among businesses and corporations uh, in their div section. So diversity, inclusion, and belonging. And uh, I, I recently realized like there's not a lot of pipelines for HBCUs in general and, uh, in HT, we have tons of opportunities at HT. But if a corporation really wanted to put their flag in dibs and diversity and inclusion, they would they would create pipelines and make certain HBCUs or HBCUs in general target schools that they recruit at. Um, yeah, make make a pipeline. I know ServiceNow I think is working with one of our alumni to create that pipeline at HT after um their experience with her and and just working with me they they want to be able to walk the walk and not just talk the talk so create pipeline and then our students are they're great right um diversity adds a lot to an organization um a lot of perspective um and so that'll give you a leg up, it's an edge. I think we talked about it in uh, international business. It is a, uh, a competitive edge that you can put for your company if you have a strong uh, diverse team or diverse group of people working for you. Absolutely, that diversity can definitely open up uh, different choices, different, um, different options for that corporation. Um, so what advice would you give yourself prior to taking the position? Prior to taking the position, um, you know, you utilize every resource you have. Uh, at ServiceNow, I was fortunate because they they are very um, happy to give information and pass on information, regardless of what team you're working on. Uh, they have tons of resources, and so I would literally say like you're here for this internship, um, but because you wanna keep your options open and make sure that you are a candidate for this business, but also any other business, learn everything you can, talk to every person you can, um, and just make those connections uh, that you might need 10, 20 years down the line. Awesome, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Well, Derek, that about wraps us up. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with everybody. Um, I know that it's very helpful to to fresh folks to try to understand like what this uh, situation could even look like and why it's beneficial. Right. So thank you so much, Derek, I appreciate it. No, thank you so much for having me. And uh, I I hope people could take something from him. Well, thank you so much, Megan. I will, uh, I'll probably see you soon. Alrighty, sounds good. See you soon.